Welcome back to the Mods YouTube channel here at the Museum of Discovery and Science. Today, we're going to show you Boo Bubbles. Hey, welcome back to the Museum of Discovery and Science. We're in our science park right now with Becky. Becky, this looks like something at Halloween or something crazy. Yeah. So what do we got here? We're doing Boo Bubbles today. Bubbles blown with dry ice. Okay, and what is dry ice? Dry ice is super solid carbon dioxide. Okay. And that's... so normally if you go like this, you Whoa. breathe out carbon dioxide, okay. I know. And it's in gas form, but if you super cool it, it becomes a solid. And we have it in our cooler over here. So I guess the question, if I have it as a solid, can I melt it to become a liquid? Uh, no, at room temperature, dry ice goes immediately from a solid to a gas. Call that sublimation. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, and how cold is dry ice. I think it's a negative 120. Huh, good, okay, fantastic. And so probably not something you should touch with your hands. No, that's okay. why you have gloves on this that table. That is right. So tell me how we're going to make this contraption work. Is this something I can build at home maybe? Um, you can or you can just end up with a pitcher and some dry ice and some water and some dish soap. So if, um, but Kids, you got to be 18 to buy dry ice, yep. so you know you got to get your family involved in this one. But it could be a fun afternoon, and you can also make punch out of it, kind of a sparkly punch. So, go ahead. so what we have here is a um, contraption. So in the back here, we put hot water. So why do you think we use hot water? Um, is it because it's the opposite of cold? Exactly. It'll make the reaction go faster. And then we dropped in some chunks of dry ice, which you're going to use gloves for, right? Yes, I am. I'm getting on my gloves. Safety first here. Right Mike. now, <laughs> my hands don't fit. Okay, here we go. Okay. So I've got some dry ice. We're going to okay. drop it in there. Right. And then what we have here is a big bucket of soapy water. So this part right here is going to act like a bubble blower. So if you want to take your... Um, okay. Ooh, bucket that's creating here, a lot. Yep. And you're going to run it over the top here to make a seal. So I'm going to just create like a film here. Film. Okay, not working. I got this. There we go. There we go. So, Michael, why do you think that the carbon dioxide is clouded? I don't know. That's a good question. So it's cloudy because it's forming a fog. It's trapping some water oh. particles in there as well. So it's just like having a foggy morning at your house. So, kind of like a cloud on the ground. So when we have the hot and the cold mix, we're creating this fog. Yes, you're creating a fog, kind of a cloud in a bubble. This is a lot of fun to do. Oh, it's like bouncing on top of this. Right, that's because of the surface tension, the soap allows the water to be extra I'm, sticky. I'm such a child right now, I keep playing with this thing. No, I, I want you to play. <laughs> Science is fun and it's meant to be played with. So you can see that the bubble is forming on me and that is like she mentioned, the, the surface tension. I'm not disrupting it, but once I don't have enough soap on my hand, I am, my skin is too rough for the bubble to stay. That's why when we play with bubbles and they touch your skin, they pop immediately. Right. Whereas this, I'm able to touch and play with it. That's because my hand is soapy, just like our bubbles are, right? And that's why bubbles stick to bubbles. Oh, there we go. So, hope you enjoy making this at home. Very fun, very easy. I know I had a lot of fun playing with the bubbles. Me thank too. you, Becky, and we'll see everybody next time. Have a good one. We want to thank the Emil Bueller Perpetual Trust for sponsoring today's video, and make sure you subscribe below.